Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are we doing? Good. How are you today? I'm doing fine, yeah? Chilling. Yeah, it's going to be a hot one, so we got to get going. Yeah, it's going to be a short day today. It's supposed to get like 100 out here, so we don't want to be out here too long. Right. Um, so, plan for today, we want to start thinking about getting this dash in, but there are two things in here that aren't working properly. we got to sort out, or maybe, or we don't know. Um, the reverse lockout for the T56, I don't think is working, but I'm, I'm not really sure, so we got to figure out a way to diagnose that. And this thing still says the fuel level is open, which means it's not reading the resistance properly. So we're going to diagnose those two things first here. Um, if we can sort those out, then this stuff's all good to go to smash up in there. Um, everything else under here is finished. Um, so we're going to start in the back here. Um, my fuel level, this guy I think, fuel sending unit. So we're going to take this off and measure the resistance here. This has a 90 ohm um, fuel sender in it. So we should see something between 0 and 90 ohms here. If that's good, then we'll trace this up to the front, measure it up at the front, and then we'll see what needs to happen. The Dakota Digital says you have to calibrate the fuel sender. I don't know what that means. Speedometer, I understand, but fuel, not sure. So we got to sort that out. So let's start there in the back. Fifth and sixth. I get it to run. Yeah, so put no so try and mash it all the way to the right you'll feel the spring no all the way to the right not up just right feel that spring there no, just leave it there and then try and push it straight that way yep push hard no feel it yeah okay well a lot of pressure yeah there you go okay, I got it. okay so that's with the reverse lockout engaged Okay, hang on. Yeah. Now try. It's sloppy. Yep. You can tell the difference. You can tell the difference, right? Oh, yeah, big difference. Plus it's not engaging there. Yep, that's reverse now. Okay. Now it's really hard to get in fifth and sixth because you can't quite tell where they are. Right. But reverse now. That's reverse. Yep. Easy peasy. Okay, so Pops is looking entirely too comfortable right here, as you can see. I got the key! He's got the key. Um, the lever! So, the courtesy lights. Two awesomely awesome things, as awesome as they can get. The fuel pump, sorry, fuel gauge was not working because I had disconnected all of this stuff back here. <laughs> Um, and the reverse lockout was not working because I had disconnected it under there when I was cutting the trans tunnel. Is a good profile there? Yeah. Um, so let's see here. Um, try and get it in reverse. That's not reverse. No? Nothing? No. The backup lights were working. Now they're not working. Are you sure that's reverse? Should be. Hmm. Well, it worked for me. Oh, okay. We'll check that in a minute. Okay, um, so like we're it. good. Well, we did have backup light working a minute ago. Um, we tested all seven gears here. Everything seemed to work. Yep. Um, so we're in good shape. Now let me check that reverse here. And where are you going? Make a note. I thought you were comfy there. I am. Too comfy. All right, so we've been testing things. Um, can you give me a turn signal there? Turn signal. Okay. We got turn signal. And we got turn signal. Okay, turn that off. And headlights. And now they're not working. What? Yeah, we have a ground problem up front there, I think. Um, we got tail lights here. Yeah, that's where? Yeah. So there's, I'm pretty sure I have a, yeah, here we go, there's a ground disconnected here. Uh, let's see if I can find a good ground somewhere. Uh, let's try that. What do you have? 
Yeah, whatever. We know there's a... Again? Yeah, we got a ground problem up here, I think, but that's okay. Um, so, turn signals work, reverse lights work, um, tail lights work, brake lights work. You want to turn the headlights off? Brake? Jeez. Okay. Yeah, so everything, all of the wiring's working, which is awesome. Um, we weren't able to verify if the reverse lockout is disengaging when the, or engaging rather, when the car is in motion. Um, we put it in gear and kind of let it go, but this thing's really not happy running in the air like this. Um, the rear end's making some clanking noises, and we noticed the right rear is not turning, so it's like the, the posse is trying to engage and disengage. So I think that's what that is, at least I hope that's what it is. Um, so we can't really get it going very fast. Uh, about 10 miles an hour, everything starts to get a little wonky back here. We got the speedometer working. Um, so everything under the dash here is good. Um, that's as far as I can tell. So we're ready to button this thing up. Um, it's getting super hot, so I don't know if we're going to go any further today or not. But um, we'll talk about it here for a second. So I was out here the other day pondering the dash assembly because we got to put all of this stuff together um, and quickly realize that these parts do not fit like at all um, <laughs> so pops is trying to get this thing together here so good fit yeah good fit so you got it you got it right that's how bad the fit was oh wow all right so just hold that like yeah you can see here that's not that bad there you go that's not even close. This hole here is not even close. This hole down here is not off by a lot, but you can see it there. Yeah, so that's off a little bit. Um, so we're gonna have to do some surgery on this thing to get it to fit. So yeah, this doesn't line up. Yeah, that doesn't line up. So, so what we're thinking? Okay, I got this piece here. Is we can shave a little bit off the bottom of that to allow this to go further down. Yeah. Right, so that lines up better. Um, this one oval the hole out, maybe oval both of them out. Um, but if you can see this guy, this one is set off from the bottom. This one's fused to it, and I don't, so that I don't think is right. So nothing fits here basically. So, and the other side isn't any better. Um, this one here has the same problem so that that one doesn't fit either um, so there's a lot of stuff to do there and it's getting to be a hundred degrees out here already so we're gonna we're gonna call it a day rather than die um, so next time we'll pick this up maybe I'll come out and poke on it during the week or something I don't know um, we'll see how it goes oh, what other thing did I find oh this guy to the front the other thing I noticed is this. Can you hold that like that for me? Thank you. That doesn't line up. It's nice. <laughs> Brand new parts and they don't line up. There's nothing I can do about it. That's you can see those the uh, the yeah. form is actually different, right? So you can't fix that. Well, uh, whatever. That'll Hopefully be covered up by our stereo there. You won't be able to see that, but good times, huh? Aftermarket parts. Nothing fits. Anyway. All right, so that's going to do it for today. Um, I am very happy to see that all the electrical stuff worked. That was good. There's still a TBD about whether that reverse lockout kicks in again when the car is in motion, but seems like it's doing the right thing, so I think we're good. I'll go home and chew on the problems for a while. Go home and chew on the problems for a while. Yes. And no, it was good. It was good. All the left turn signal, backup light, speedometer works, everything. Yep. We're good. This thing's almost ready to get on the road, Pops. Yes. Oh, and we put the shifter in case you didn't notice that before. That's the one that comes with the, uh, uh, the E-Rod. It's nice. I like it. Alrighty. Okay, everybody, we'll pick you up on the next time. Adios. Adios.